I'm Brock Frazier, hello, and this is a look at the bass banjo. I built this with my friend Bob. This is an experiment, but let's get into what it sounds like. It basically sounds like a bass and a banjo. Just uh, me making random noises, and it it's pretty deep. It's uh, working pretty well for an early version. We call this one. Uh, we'll call it uh, version 0.7. It's definitely not done, but as it sits, uh, it's functional. This is just a regular bass guitar neck off of a cheap crate bass guitar. This floor tom is a gig percussion uh, floor tom that's been cut, so it's more snare size. And then I'm still even using the head that came with it. Now I built the bridge and the tailpiece and built, using the word loosely, this block of Douglas fir that's being used for the, the attachment for the, the neck heel onto the body. And then I'll go through the rest of the construction here in a bit, but it, it's working really well. It's working a lot better than the gold tone that I saw used locally and I've been pretty happy with the whole concept. This early one's still pretty scrappy, but it, it, it seems to kick out the sound. <laughs> So here's a basic size comparison with a banjitar. It's a Jay Reynolds over there on the left, just a, a budget banjitar. And I don't know what to say really. Um, obviously it's it's just a lot bigger. So like I said, the neck is a is a standard crate cheap bass guitar, electric bass guitar neck. I Fabricated the bridge earlier today. We still haven't notched it in and that. I uh, built this tailpiece. It's uh, a little less than ideal. It It's bending a little bit under the tension. I may or may not end up rebuilding or building another one with uh, a little more strength to it. That's made out of aluminum just because I like to work with aluminum. Here's a look at the back. As you can see, it's currently open backed and there's uh, two pieces of threaded rod. I think I went with 3 8 inch on that if I recall. And so we've got that down there by just uh, washers and bolts on uh, each side. And then we've got those uh, threaded pieces in there and they're just tacked into that piece of wood. I'm using the the base plate from the, from the base guitar. The screws were a little too short so I had to get some longer ones in and it's just a neck attached to this piece of wood. It's uh, at this stage uh, really not pretty and you know it's functional. Took the strap buttons off of the uh, off of the bass guitar as well and then let's take a look real quick at the butt end of this. So here's the end of the bass banjo. I've got it too long. I probably ought to cut that back. I just haven't done it yet. Like I said it's still early. And then the piece there, that was flat, but as you can see, it's bent over time. Here's a closer look at the bridge. And then those are standard, uh, just standard electric bass guitar strings that I had lying around. Uh, it, it may sound better with some uh, acoustic bass guitar sets. I don't know. But that's pretty much it. So, there's a look at the bass banjo. It's been pretty fun so far. Just finished up the bridge today on the second bridge. So we're still working on the details, but it's pretty loud. It 
sounds like a bass and it sounds like a banjo. Play close to the bridge, you get more banjo. Play up closer to the neck, you get a little more bass guitar. But it's still definitely a banjo and definitely a bass. So there's a look at it. Hope you find that useful. Have a great day.